before the video starts, let me provide you some context as to what this is, if you don't know what it is. Takedown is a short six episode series that it has a connection with the storyline of Need for Speed Undercover and to also heavily emphasize and advertise the new Nissan 370C back then. And this was all due to market that same 370C as EA was the only publishing gaming company that managed to get exclusive rights to feature the 370C in their games for one year before anyone else could. If you want, there's going to be a link in the description if you want to watch the episodes for yourself. With that pretty much out of the way, enjoy the video. Keep in mind that this name only exists in six episodes of this series. Ow. This feels like product placing a watch instead of signifying time. 5.21 p.m. Jess, Drake Grunsfield. It's 20 after 5 and you'll never guess what I don't have in my hands. A full history of Judge Cutforth. So what do you want me to do tomorrow at the hearing? Just chit-chat to get to know him? That seems like your only viable option if you're not specifying how many pages she has to procrastinate by 7 p.m. 5.35 p.m. Hey, you know where I can find a lawyer? Not over here since you're getting... disposed. Ow. Yeah, it's the ghost of Christmas past here. And look, I know I'm not supposed to call, but... Anyway, I've been thinking a lot about you lately and... <laughs> Huh. So that's what Sha Wu meant by disposed in the game. Oh yeah, remember this. This is not what actually happened. We as an undercover cop took down Hector and then probably the Cha Wu goons came in and disposed him. Hello? Hector? Sorry, babe. I couldn't find any congratulations. You passed the bar cards at the corner mark. Well, what's wrong? It's over, Hector. Because you not him or him not you? Or because of this dollar store retirement congratulations card. 1969 Fair Lady? Nice, but that car is not even in the game. Ow. Hey. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy, take it easy. Who are you? Are those pliers? Are you trying to pinch Dimitri for self defense? Ow. Are those friends of yours? No, I don't know those guys. Come on. Go, go, go! Were the windows tinted or they just couldn't see them? Ow. Also, how did Jess and Dimitri got into the 370 that quickly? Ow. And this is where we go from live action to probably recycle angles black bots used to promote undercover back then for trailers and stuff. Ow. So, this is really supposed to be a cheap Cherokee. You know, I'm surprised that these in particular don't even chase us in the game. Ow. Hey, not so fast! I thought you were with Hector's crew. He's just surprised that you have these skills, Jess. You know, you guys just met. Ow. What's with the black borders? It was perfectly fine on the first episode, and this goes on from now being this the second episode all the way to the final episode. Ow. Do me a favor, hold that up to my ear. This is hardly the time. Or you could just tell Dimitri to put it on speaker. I would say use Bluetooth, but this is 2008. Whatever we have now, it either didn't exist or it wasn't common. Ow. Undercover Subption featuring Five Cent. Ow. Hey, rabbit. 
better be important, D-Ride. Are you gonna be washing my car again? D-Ride. Who is this? Her name's Jess. Not, uh, Jesse Nines? Just Jess. Yo. I'm looking for Hector Garcia. What makes you think I would know where he's at? Because the plot says so. Ow. Dimitri says that you know everything that goes down in the- Damn it, Jess, can he just be nickel? Ow. Yeah, he's right. I might know something. I tell you what, I race you for it. Nah, not pixels, baby. Yeah, this game doesn't even have split screen anyway. Ow. Nah, not pixels, baby. Out there. This would go a lot faster if you just told me. But so much less fun. Plus, for the sake of the plot, just telling you straight up will be as fast as cheating in a drag race in Pro Street. Something like this, basically. Ow. Here's the deal. I win, it's your pink slip. You win, I start singing. You might as well throw in your pink slip as well and make it fair. Ow. Yeah, d right that's a solid arrow telling us to go right. Ooh. Whoa, sorry, I must have dozed off. Huh. Hey, Dimitri, look, it's tortoise. I mean, rabbit. So it is Jesse Nines. Word on the street was that the only thing quicker than your driving was your mouth. I want to know where Hector is, and I want to know who the Asian guys are. I know these are scenes of what the Chinese cartel look like, but what's with the usage of future scenes that will happen eventually? Because these scenes that you just saw, and a little snippet on the second episode, are what's gonna happen on the fourth episode, instead of using what we already seen from the cartel in the first episode. Ow. Chinese cartel. They got a lot of manpower, a lot of guns, and not a lot of compassion. Somebody ripped off one of their cars. Hector must be suspect number one. So what does a lawyer think about a boyfriend that boosts cars? Not the business of sharing my feelings with the guys named after animals. Damn, is it really like that? You really loved him that his only perk was when he gets in trouble, you can get him out so easily? Or at least lessen his sentence? Ow. Dimitri, do me a favor. Stop wasting my time. Like that report that you have to do by 7? Because it's your fault that you're basically procrastinating it. Ow! Jess, don't go in. I'm not exactly getting a warm fuzzies either. Just keep it running. I might need to get out of here in a hurry. Shouldn't I drive? Just keep it running, Dimitri. What if it runs out of gas? What is he gonna do? This is your last chance, Mr. Garcia. I'm not a difficult man. Really, I'm not. You look difficult in having your men to suffocate Hector for a car that we don't know what it is. This is very simple. Tell me where it is. I got set up. You need to ask. Don't you see? Nijin yo taishi. So, you're not gonna have subtitles? You did at the beginning. Why not here? Ow. Goodbye, Mr. Garcia. Excuse me! I was ripping off your car and wondering if you knew which way the highway was? How did you get in the Jeep? and start it. Ow. Listen, I know this is mostly about the 370, but you really do have the audacity to feature the Mustang in the live action and not feature it in the in-game scene. It's understandable why they did it for that Jeep since, you know, at the time in 2008, Underground 2 was the only game to let us drive SUVs or trucks or let alone have any of them, but bruh. Ow. Yeah, no, 
know, I don't believe this. Hey, Nines. Hey, Hector. You look like you ran into some trouble. You don't say, Rabbit. You don't say. Just like right now with you. And when they find you, you're gonna get everything you deserve. <laughs> well, I'm not so worried about that. What bugs me is, is I don't know where said car is. Which brings me to pointing this gun at you. Oh, you're probably looking for these. Yeah, where did you get them from? Or where did she put them? So I'm gonna let you pick. You want me to shoot you in the thigh first? Or in the shoulder? Or maybe I should just shoot her first once, so you know that I'm really <laughs> serious. <laughs> If you wanted it to be serious, you should've just went chitty chitty bang bang and not chatty chatty talk talk. You're mine, Jesse Nines. Perfect timing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. My Chinese is a little rusty. You saved our butts, D Rod. No, consider me officially off your case, Dimitri. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So why don't you call me by my street name? D Ride. I don't know, it sounds kind of corny. Can't you think of something better like Speed Freak or Air Dragon? Mm. It's D Ride. Yeah, Jess. It's D Ride. Original name, do not steal. Ow. Hello? Not doing your work, obviously, instead of, I don't know, have someone else to do it? Alright, so here are my thoughts out of this entire series. From what it is, and intending to have a connection with the main storyline of Undercover, it's okay. I find it weird that the actor for Hector Mayo, Kirk Cassidis, is in here, but they don't refer him as Hector Mayo but as Hector Garcia. From my knowledge, unless if you want to clear this up, it's unclear as to what exactly the cartel was trying to recover from Hector, specifically what kind of vehicle they were trying to get back from him that he stole. It couldn't really be a 69 fair lady since that particular Nissan or Datsun model doesn't exist in the game itself. And later on, 1969 fair lady in the series turned out to be a location in where that's where the cartel was with Hector being held hostage. And even throughout this series, it was kind of weird seeing, you know, portions of the rear end of the 370 of, you know, having a license plate technically being blocked off in a way or just painted over so it wouldn't be shown to in the in-game scenes and where there was no license plate at all. I get why they did it. But if you're not going to have a license plate to be shown, don't you think on the live action portions, you will have it removed? Or let alone create your own custom license plate? Or how about a replica of the Tri-City Bay license plate, assuming if this series also takes place in the fictional Tri-City Bay? Now, beside the license plate, there were also certain portions of the series that we had cockpit view camera point of views. Now, I understand that Undercover never had this camera view at all, or let alone any Need for Speed game at this point never had a cockpit view after Porsche Unleashed or Hot Pursuit 2 technically, with the few Ferraris you were able to drive in that camera view. I'm not saying that I hate it or let alone it was just a necessary to have, despite the lack of detail which then again, do you really expect black box to fully flesh out an interior view for every single vehicle when their development cycle was just awful back then? But then again they could've, but I don't know the limitations of the game engine that they used back then so and I'm assuming the budget was really low to do other things either having the actors and actresses say their dialogue lines in game behind a green screen or even in the interior of the 370 or whatever other vehicle being used behind a green screen or 
have their faces model in game to what we had in Pro Street and Carbon and say their dialogue lines as part of the in game scenes. So, anyways, that is all I gotta say aside from the fact that this is an actual 20 minute long commercial not to only promote Undercover but also the Nissan 370Z. And hey, if EA decided to make a new form of entertainment that isn't a video game or a movie for Need for Speed, they can use this as a base to make a new story and make a whatever, make money out of it and put it on Hulu or Netflix or whatever other streaming platform they decide to put it. Because in my opinion, Takedown as a whole, it could fit in a streaming service of some kind. And that's putting aside the heavily advertised 370Z stuff. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. And hey, and if there's anything that I either didn't mention because I didn't feel like it, I forgot about it, or I just didn't think it was okay to say, just mention it. Ow.